Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to our new normal class. I am Jocelyn Imbais, your subject teacher in ICT 10 Computer Hardware Servicing. This lesson will be your second quarter for week 6 and week 7. The objective for today, explain networking devices, media, and connectors. Our topic for today is all about networking devices and media and connectors. Networking devices, media and connector. To make data transmission more extensible and efficient than a simple peer-to-peer -peer network, network designers use a specialized network device such as hubs, switches, routers, and wireless access points to send data between devices. Okay, these are the image of networking devices and media converter interfaces. Common network cables. Until recently, cables were the only medium used to connect devices on networks. A wide variety of networking cables are available. Cushal and twisted fair cables use copper to transmit data. Fiber optic cables use glass or plastic to transmit data. These cables differ in band width size and cost. You need to know what type of cable to use based on the job requirements. You also need to be able to troubleshoot and repair problems along the way. Twisted pair is a type of copper cabling that is used for telephone communications and most Ethernet networks. A pair of wires forms a circuit that transmits data. The pair is twisted to provide protection against crosstalk, the noise generated by adjacent pairs of wires in the cable. Pairs of copper wires are encased in color-coded plastics, insulations, and twisted together. An outer jacket protects the bundles of twisted pairs. In Figure 39, these are the image of UTP and STP cable. When electricity flows through a copper wire, a magnetic field is created around the wire. A circuit has two wires, and in a circuit, the two wires have oppositely charged magnetic fields. When the two wires of the circuit are next to each other, the magnetic field cancel each other out. This is called the cancellation effect. Without the cancellation effect, your network communications become slow because of the interference caused by the magnetic fields. The two basic types of twisted pair cables are as follows. First, we have unshielded twisted pair or UTP. It's the cable that has two or four pairs of wires. This type of cable will release solely on the cancellation effect produced by the twisted wire pairs that limit signal degradation caused by electromagnetic interface or EMI and Radio Frequency Interference or RFI. UTP is the most commonly used cabling in networks. UTP cables have a range of 328 feet 100 meter. Second, we have with shielded twisted pair or STP. Each pair of wire is wrapped in metallic foil to better shield the wires from noise. Four pairs of wires are then wrapped in an overall metallic braid of foil 
STP reduces the electrical noise from within the cable. It also reduces EMI or RFI from outside the cable. Although STP prevents interference better than UTP, STP is more expensive because of the ex extra shielding. It is also more difficult to install because of the thickness. In addition, the metallic shielding must be grounded at both ends. If it is improperly grounded, the shield acts like an antenna, picking up unwanted signals. Okay, let's proceed to category rating. UTP in comes in several categories that are based on two factors. First, we have the number of wires in the cable. Second, the number of twists in those wires. Number one, category three is wiring used for telephone systems and Ethernet LAN at 10 megabyte per second. Category three has four pairs of wires. Category 5 and Category 5E have 4 pairs of wires with a transmission rate of 100 Mbps. Number 4, Category 5 and Category 5E is the most common network cable used. Number 5, Category 5E has more twists per foot than Category 5 wiring. These extra twists further prevent interference from outside source and from the other wires within the cable. Some Category 6 cables use a plastic di divider to separate the pairs of wires, which prevents interference. The pairs also have more twists than Category 5A cable. Next, we have Coast Shell Cable. Is a copper cord cable surrounded by a heavy shielding. Kosha cable is used to connect the computers to the rest of the network. Kosha cable use British Naval Connectors or BNC or Bionet Nail. Bionet Nail Consumment. Connectors at the ends of the cables to make the connections. Several types of Kosha cables exist. Thicknet. Is a coastal cable used in networks operating at 10 Mbps with a maximum length of 500 meters. Second, we have the TNET or TIN Base 2. Is a coastal cable used in networks operating at 10 Mbps with a maximum length of 185 meters. Next, we have the RG59 is most commonly used for cable television in the U.S. RG6 is higher quality cable than RG59 with more bandwidth and less susceptibility to interference. These are the image of Koshal cable. Fiber optic cable. An optical fiber is a glass or a plastic conductor that transmits information using light. Fiber optic cable has one or more optical fibers enclosed in a sheet of jacket. Because it is made of glass, fiber optic cable is not affected by EMI or RFI. All signals are converted to light pulses to enter the cables and are converted back into electrical signals when delivered. This means that fiber optic cable can deliver signals that are clear and can go further without compromising the clarity of signal. In figure 41, this is the image of fiber optic cable.
fiber optic cable can reach distances of several miles of kilometers before the signal needs to be regenerated. Fiber optic cable usually is more expensive to use than copper cable and the connectors are more costly and harder to assemble. Common connectors for fiber optic networks are AC, ST, and LC. These three types of fiber optic connectors are half duplex, which allows data to flow in only one direction. Therefore, two cables are needed. These are the two types of glass fiber of the cable. First, we have the multi-mode. Multi -mode. It's the cable that has a thicker cord than single mode cable. It is easier to make and use a simpler light sources such as light emitting diodes or leads and work well over distances of a few kilometers of or less. As you can see the picture below, that is the example of multi-mode. And the second fiber optic cables, we have single mode. It's the cable that has a very thin core. It is harder to make, uses lasers as a light source, and can transmit signals dozen of kilometers with ease. This is the image of single mode. Creating Ethernet Cable Ethernet cable has been the standard in networking installation for years. It is the fastest way of connecting PC to a pair or to your router or a central switch. This section of the module will bring you back to the procedures in creating an Ethernet cable specifically straight through and cross over. Try to recall the procedures as you go on with the lesson. Fabricating an Ethernet crossover and straight through cable is an Ethernet networking environment like in a home or an office with multiple PCs that are wired the where the computers need to be connected to a central router to allow data transfer. The router takes all the bits being sent out by the computers and relays them on into the other devices on the network. A straight through Ethernet cable is used in local area network to connect a PC to a network hub and router. This is the standard cable used for almost all purposes. A crossover cable, on the other hand, can be used to connect two network devices directly without the need for router in the middle. It simply reverses some of the pins so that the output on one computer is being sent to, to the input of another. The following items are the materials and tools used for making Ethernet cables. First, we have the Ethernet key cable category, 5E or fi CAT 5E, standard wire for cabling. RG45, crimp able to connectors for CAT 5E. RG45 crimping tool, wire cutter, stripper or pliers, and Ethernet cable tester. Okay, those are the materials and tools used for making Ethernet cables. In figure 42, this is the image of crossover and straight through color coding. Cable fabrication procedure in cut A. The first color, we have white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, and brown. In 
cut B in crossover, the first color, white, green, green, white, orange, blue, white, blue, orange, white, brown, and brown. In straight through color, in cut A, the first color, we have white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. In cut B, we have white, white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, and brown. Those are the color coding for crossover and straight through. The picture below will serve as your guide in making the two important Ethernet cables. Cut into the plastic shell one inch from the end of the cut cable. The crimping tool has a razor blade that will do the trick with practice. As you can see in figure 43, this is the example in step 1 on how to cut the internet cables. Number 2, unwind and pair the similar colors. Number 3, Pinch the wire between your fingers and straighten them out as shown. The color order is important to do this correctly. Number 4. Use wire cutter to make a straight cut across the wire. One half inch from the cut slip to the end of the wires. Push the wires into the connector. Each wire fits into a slot in, in the RG45 connector. Note the position of the blue plastic shielding. Also note how the wires go all the way to the end. In figure 47, step 6, take view from the top. Make sure the wires are all the way in. There should be no short wires. In figure 48, step 7, crimping the cable, carefully place the connector into the Ethernet crimping and cinch down on the handles tightly. The copper splicing tabs on the connectors will pierce into each of the 8 wires. There is also a locking tab that holds the blue plastic sleeve in the place for a tight compression fit. When you remove the cable from the crimper, that end is ready to use. Number 8. For a standard straight through cable, repeat all steps and wire color order on the other end of cable. For a crossover cable, the other end will have a different color order as shown by the crossover picture on page 84. In figure 49, step 9, make sure to test the cables before installing them. An expensive Ethernet cable tester does this quite well. Okay, that's all for our lesson for this morning. If you have a questions, clarifications, you can contact my cell phone number 0905-1571-448. For your activity and test, just visit our guide if link. Thank you for listening.